What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. The top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, June 17th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Destiny 2's new exotic mission, Dual Destiny, has sparked controversy despite being praised as one of Bungie's best in years. It requires two players to cooperate and solve puzzles resembling a mini raid. While many players find it worth the effort even if they need to use the LFG tool, solo expert Estrotech took on the challenge uniquely by controlling two characters simultaneously with different input methods. He completed the mission by alternating between screens and characters, showcasing an impressive level of dedication. However, for most players, teaming up with someone via LFG is a simpler and more cost-effective approach. Comment down below if you would be this dedicated enough to double up controllers or would you just go with the LFG tool. Nintendo fans may soon be treated to an announcement of a new game in the Legend of Zelda series. Rumors suggest that during the upcoming Nintendo Direct set for June 18th, a new Zelda game codenamed Edward might be revealed. Lika Midori hinted at this possibility but provided no specifics about the game. Given that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was just released over a year ago, it's unlikely to be a new mainline installment. Instead, it might be a port or a remake of a previous Zelda title. As always, treat these rumors with caution, but keep an eye out on the Direct for potential exciting news. Let me know if it's too soon for a new Zelda game or you just need another one as soon as possible. In Helldivers 2, the latest major order requires players to liberate 5 planets in the Terminite section, but progress has slowed down due to players skipping missions. A Reddit thread from June 15 urges players to complete entire operations for their contributions to count towards liberation. Skipping missions to farm levels is causing frustration with one player noting it's counterproductive since almost everything unlocks by level 25. Completing operations is crucial as evident by past orders like saving children or securing anti-tank mines. Some players mistakenly believe individual missions aid liberation, but only full operations completion impacts the liberation percentage as shown in post-mission summaries. What do you think about the current state of the major order and the mission skipping issue? Share your thoughts down below in the comments. In a recent Overwatch 2 stream, a cheater claimed that causing server lag to win games isn't against the rules, sparking outrage in the community. During the stream, player Super TF experienced severe lag that led to his team losing a match. The cheater, who had been active for several seasons, messaged Super TF in-game and even spoke in voice chat, asserting that their actions were just having fun and not cheating. They claimed to have been banned once, but unbanned themselves. Overwatch 2 has faced significant issues since its launch in 2022, from shutting down the original game to canceling promised PvE mode, leading to a loss of goodwill among players. Despite Blizzard's massive ban waves in 2023, the persistence of cheaters suggests it's time for another crackdown in 2024. What do you think about the cheaters' bold claims and the current state of Overwatch 2? In a recent interview with YouTuber Mr. Maddie Plays, Bethesda's Todd Howard confirmed that the studio is not working on remastering classics like Fallout or Elden Scrolls games. Instead, their focus is on developing new content for Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6. Howard emphasized preserving the original charm of older games by ensuring they run well on modern PCs rather than updating them with modern graphics or features. This statement also dispels rumors of the Fallout 3 or the Elder Scrolls 4 Abolition Remix. Currently, Bethesda is preparing for the release of Starfield's upcoming DLC, Shattered Space, and continuing work on the Elder Scrolls 6. What do you think about Bethesda's decision to focus on new content rather than remastering old classics? Comment down below. Black Myth Wulong, developed by Game Science, offers a refreshing take on action RPGs with its roots in Chinese mythology and impressive Unreal Engine 5 graphics. Unlike traditional Souls-like games, it features skill trees, color-coded gear, and linear level design resembling modern titles like God of War. The demo showcased engaging combat mechanics including responsive dodging, charge attacks, and transformation spells, though exploration was hindered by detailed environments, causing navigational challenges. Despite these issues, the game's setting and combat systems make it a standout experience, promising a unique and captivating adventure. Bethesda Game Studios executive producer Todd Howard revealed that the developer has an update roadmap for Fallout 76 that spans several years into the future, with plans to continue supporting the game beyond that time frame. 
Despite its troubled launch, Fallout 76 remains popular with tens of thousands of players daily thanks to consistent updates, nearly 50 since its release. The latest update marking the start of Season 17 and the first ever map expansion was released on June 12th. Howard hinted that the game could still be thriving when the next single player Fallout game is released, which may not be developed by Bethesda but instead be an outsourced spinoff. What do you think about Fallout 76's future and the potential for continued updates? Originally released in 20, no, originally released in 2011, Sonic Generations stood out for including both modern and classic Sonic, fast-paced gameplay, and passion-filled level design. As the game approaches its 13th anniversary, Sonic X Shadow Generations brings it back with a new solo campaign for Shadow the Hedgehog called Shadow Generations. Offering a deeper dive into his character, the remaster promises improved graphics running at 60 frames per second on modern hardware and new content that delves into Shadow's story. This includes new Doom powers and unique level designs. The game, featured at Summer Games Fest, releases this October. Are you excited about the Sonic Cross Shadow Generations and the new content for Shadow? Share your thoughts down below. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is set to release on October 25th, 2024. It's generating excitement with stunning visuals and new gameplay features thanks to the switch to the IW 9.0 engine. This upgrade introduces Omni Movement for 360 degree sliding, sprinting and diving and auto mantling for faster navigation. The game will feature a Gulf War era, campaign, zombies and multiplayer editions, all presented with near photorealistic graphics. This engine chain marks a significant leap for the Call of Duty Black Ops series, aligning it with the high standards set by Modern Warfare and promising improved overall gaming experience. What do you think about the new features in Black Ops 6? Comment down below. Star Wars Outlaws revealed at Ubisoft Forward introducing significant changes to the franchise by focusing on non-Jedi protagonist K. Vass. Players can alter the story through gameplay choices and shape Kay's skills by seeking out experts, leading to new storylines and ship improvements. The game features a repetition system that affects interactions with factions and empire, encouraging exploration and customization. This innovation promises to set a new standard for future Star Wars games. What do you think about the new gameplay elements in Star Wars Outlaws? Tell me down your thoughts below. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.